Hello, fun. My name is Nick, and I'm here at Roboteer Rumble in Tremont, Illinois, with Team 1781 Lindblom Electric Eagles. They are your Greater Pittsburgh Regional finalists. They have an incredibly interesting hopper and claw system that allows them to collect from the chute incredibly quickly, an incredibly unique arm, an electronics box system, and some very interesting software, which allows all of this to work together. All this and more is coming up on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Get a great gift this holiday season and grab a drone at an incredible price while supplies last at corerobotics.com slash store. From beginning and educational drones to FPV and racing, you'll be sure to find a great gift. Scan the QR code and enter FUN15 at checkout for an additional 15% off these discounted prices or go to corerobotics.com slash store. All right, now we're heading over to Eric to talk about their incredibly unique collector and electronics box system. Hello, my name is Eric, a member of Team 1781. First, we're going to be talking about our UCS, or otherwise known as the Universal Control System. It's a box pretty much designed with all the key electrical components that pretty much every robot requires. As you can see, we have our Robo Reel, we have our radio, VRM, CAN, CAN ID connectors, and of course, the power distribution center. And then moving on from this, this was a pretty much a student-led design. Uh, it's been constantly updated over the years, and we use it pretty much with every robot we have. And moving on from there, we're going to go to our collector, which allows us to collect cubes up off the ground. It is currently controlled by two pistons connected to the pneumatic system, and it's you, the collector is then rotated by this motor down here. And we only use this co to collect cubes, but it allows to, for many different operations and autonomous and et cetera. All right, now we're heading over to Raja to talk about their incredibly unique hopper and arm system. Hello, my name is Raja. So basically the concept is we have a drop box is what we call it, so that our human player can doesn't have to be extremely accurate. And as we know, the single substation sometimes gets crowded, so they don't have to exactly be centered, and it would just guide it into the cone, into the, yeah, guide a cone into the drop box. As for our arm, we have... It originally started as a prototype uh, climber for preseason because um, we did not know if the game would have you know, a climbing element like the previous ones. But uh, we evolved it into an arm to better fit the needs of the game. And we can extend it, retract it, and it pivots around this point up here. And it went through many iterations. Um, it includes a 3D printed insert in order to provide a little more structural integrity because there's a lot of forces going on over there. But in short, it allows us for, allows to score on every single node and uh, possible thing. So as you can see, we're going to do a quick demo of our collector drop box and arm system. So Vincent, if you could please collect. As you can see, the collector collects it, the drop box keeps it in place, and then Vincent, if arm, high, go high. And then after the gripper grips it, as you can see, it continues on. I guess one question I have about the Dropbox is, how did you come up with it? It's incredibly unique. I don't think I've seen anyone else doing it in this competition. It's mostly for extremely fast cycle times because we noticed that like our biggest lack was our lack. We were lacking in our like uh, ability to quickly go to the substation, quickly get a game piece, and go back and score it. So we just created this so he doesn't, like we said, like I said, sorry, we don't exactly have to be centered. We can just quickly drop it in, move, go somewhere else, and then just keep the game going instead of having to wait, adjust, and just wasting time. Yeah, very unique. All right, now we're heading over to Vincent to talk about their unique code system that allows all of this to come together. So my name is Vincent. I am the lead programmer of Team 1781. And for managing our autonomous routines, each autonomous routine is made up of auto states, which contains a time as well as an action. And that action can contain scoring or auto aiming. And it also contains a position. So we can easily change the position or the action at a given time during autonomous. And this allows us to rapidly create autonomous routines so that we can get an autonomous routine out of the way and we can just start testing and fine tuning from there. Yeah, very cool. Um, I guess what I would ask is, is there anything like that inspired you to go this route towards your autonomous programming? Was there some former system that didn't work as well? Um. So last year, 
or the year prior to last year for Rapid React, we relied on hard coding the times for autonomous, and the problem was that sometimes the time might be too short or might be too long, so we're running out of time or it doesn't have enough time to do a certain thing. So what we wanted to do was make it easy to edit, and one way was uh, states, because each state is easily editable, and you can just change a single number, and it might work better than the previous run. All right, that's very interesting, everyone. Thank you, Raja. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Vincent. And thank you for watching. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Get a great gift this holiday season and grab a drone at an incredible price while supplies last at corerobotics.com slash store. From beginning and educational drones to FPV and racing, you'll be sure to find a great gift. Scan the QR code and enter FUN15 at checkout for an additional 15% off these discounted prices or go to corerobotics.com slash store. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.